Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm go just going to be going through this one little insert. Um, this is a Field Notes insert grid uh, paper that I used between January 1st and February 18th, 2018. So that period of time, um, basically like in December, I planned to, you know, set up my January bujo just like everybody else, but uh, you know, December can often be busy. I didn't get a chance to. Um, also, the week between Christmas and New Year's, I spent out of town um, helping my grandma move. I also got a cold around like the day after Christmas, I think. Um, so I was sick with a cold and then I got the stomach flu. Just a lot of different things, you know, plus like moving out of my first trimester of my pregnancy. A lot of things happened at once that basically meant that I was not able to get um, my bullet journal set up for January and for 2018 when I wanted to. Um, so basically what I did, um, I knew that I needed space to put my dailies. Um, I kept using my collections inserts from 2017 for the you know interim period of time. Um, and then I just pulled out an extra field notes for my dailies and for other things. Like I didn't have a short term collections or notes insert. Uh, either because I had filled that up. So I kind of started at a really basic level. And so what this is, basically uh, it shows you what my system sort of evolved to be over the course of about a month and three quarters um, from like restarting my whole bullet journal from scratch um, before I was able to set it up with my collections elsewhere. So my 2018 collections are mostly in separate inserts. Um, the collections that are in here are the ones before that. Uh, you can take a look at my 2018 setup uh, video that will show you where all the different inserts are, where all the different collections are. And this is just going to be sort of a flip through of what this sort of interim transitional um, rebuilding period of time looked like. So let's begin. Um, first you'll see, I was like, I don't need an index because mostly in my planning inserts I don't. Um, but this ended up being more than just a planning insert. So I ended up taping an index in here. And it's not staying very well. That's the problem with washi tape is that it doesn't like to stick quite as strongly as other kinds of tape. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, I ended up taping this index in here and it just has a couple of different things of these collections. I did not put any planning pages uh, like dailies and weekly pages on my index because I figure that's not really important to reference later. This is just for reference. So I started with a blank like to-do list. And you'll see the first most of this, like half of it, uh, doesn't have any washi tape, any colors, or anything. I just was using my um, Pilot Friction Pen. So I just have a to-do list, and it's just anything and everything, kind of a brain dump, um, and all kinds of things. Basically, I started working on this like as we were coming back from Arizona, helping my grandma move. Um, I knew that we were going to be moving into the new house, and I had things to do. So January setup here is at the beginning of all my to-do lists. It got pushed back quite a ways. Um, and then as you'll see through here, most of these pages are actually crossed out. I just went ahead and put a, an, uh, an X, a line through each page as I like finished it so that I would uh, know which pages I don't have to worry about anymore. So this is all kinds of different things, some small, some big. And then here are some dailies, just really basic day, date, and you know, events and tasks, events and tasks. I was using um, the arrow here, I think meant tasks at home, it looks like. The star thing meant it was important. These were some um, errands that I needed to run. Uh, let's see. Then, yeah, we have a to buy list. So that's not like a to-do list, it's like things we needed to buy. Cause you know, when you move into a new house, you're like, oh, I need light bulbs, I need toilet brushes, I need a cat trash can for the kitchen and you know, stuff like that. Um, so I did end up getting all of this stuff. Um, this is the office. Uh, I just recently put up an office tour video so you'll be able to see what this ended up looking like. But basically I just sort of measured the room and I wanted to sort of play around with some different ideas for where to put the desk. So um, when I eventually got this desk, so I you might be able to see that I erased it. I put it here first and then realized there wasn't enough room here. This is my husband's desk and so that's where mine is set. And then I also like 
made a shopping list for Ikea when we were there. And then meal planning, moved into a new place and have our own kitchen, doing our own meal planning. So it just sort of is, uh, I pretty quickly learned that like, you know how it is like when you learn to cook for one or two after cooking for a lot of people? Um, like when I cooked for just myself, I kept things really, really basic. Um, I wanted to do a little bit more like actual recipes with uh, me and my husband, but we don't need like a full six person serving. So our, we're eating a lot of leftovers. <laughs> this is a list of sort of meal ideas. I went through, I sat down and I just kind of wrote down the names of different things that I know how to make um, in different, like this is beef, pork, chicken, fish, and vegetarian options. I use this page and I reference back to it. You'll see it still has a sticky note here because I want to move it to another collection elsewhere in my uh, Traveler's Notebook. But I'll flip back to this and just kind of glance at it to kind of get inspired when I'm making my meal plan for the next week. We have more meals here because here was still the ninth. Yeah, I was still like here uh, in my dailies and I flipped to the next page and that's where the meals went. Then I needed a uh, rollover to-do list or an expanded to-do list. Same thing as this front page. Uh, more dailies, dailies, just a weekend um, to-do list instead of having a separate one for Saturday, Sunday. And then on Sunday I had events, but I did not have events on Saturday. Uh, let's see. This uh, has been moved to another place in my bullet journal because I'm not done with it yet. This is a list of places where I needed to change my mailing address. Um, that's like <laughs> the, the task about moving that is just the most of a pain. Um, so I'm still working on that one at a time. Uh, more meal planning. And then on the side here is like a shopping list based on my meal plan. And I end up like moving stuff around. It's kind of a mess because I was like, all right, I was gonna make this fettuccine, but I actually need to, like everything needed with this was shelf stable or frozen. Uh, so I ended up moving that to like a week or two later. <laughs> and then I did other things. So early, or earlier, I put check marks after stuff. This meatloaf lasted us a long time. Uh, let's see, more shopping stuff, like to buy, but also things that we didn't need to buy right now. And then um, planning my mom's birthday party. So I did that in here as well. Um, uh, yeah, I just needed like some general, like it's not planning related or not daily life related, I guess, or house stuff, but um, I needed a planning page for a party. So I put a column for each of the people involved in planning it. And then we, I put a dot next to the item in their column if they were in charge of the item. So I was in charge of the invites, so I put a dot there. Um, and then just check stuff off to make sure that we had everything taken care of. Dailies, dailies. Here's my YouTube schedule and video ideas. This has been expanded to like a two page spread and an index page uh, in my other setup, which yeah, I, I've seen, showed you that in the other video. Um, basically I just needed something in the interim and while I was using this for everything before I had a dedicated short term collections insert, I used this. Another rollover to do list. This is more stuff for the party, the guest list and RSVP numbers, um, and then some math on the catering order, checklist of things to do, stuff to bring the morning of. And then here we are, it's almost the middle of the book. Uh, yeah, d page before the middle of the book. And I started using washi tape and colors again. Um, yeah, it was just, I felt like it was time. This was. January 22nd. So I was already three weeks into the new year and finally felt like I had things underneath me enough to a point where I could actually plan out a week in here. Um, and was this the week that I actually did the setup? Maybe not. Yes. Okay. So this day that I filmed the live stream, that would have been the 27th. That was when I started doing the actual setup for my new 2018 Bujo when I moved out of my old inserts into my new ones. Um, so up like till the very end of January, I was only using really basic setups and it worked really well. Cause I mean, the focus of that month was moving into a new house and 
I needed something really basic so that I wasn't getting distracted. I mean, I didn't even have a desk for most of it, you know? So I uh, yeah, just needed something really bare bones and practical. Um, and then once I finally felt like I had some, you know, my feet underneath me um, and a little bit better of a grasp on my, you know, chores and things, uh, I felt like I had a little bit of time to just put a little washi tape, make my pages just a little prettier and color coordinated. Um, so on this side, I have my video production schedule and this side is my to-do list. And this is the Alistair method, which I've talked about before. And then dailies, uh, this particular week, I set aside space for my dailies beforehand. Um, I have not done that since. I don't do that a lot. I guess it was just sort of a whim and I went with it. So then we have, yeah, Monday through Thursday here, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday are just to-do lists. Because what I kind of had was like, stuff that I needed to do after work in order here and then other things here, if that makes sense. Um, and then I had meals and groceries here. So instead of having like a meal per day, I just made a checklist of like, all right, I'll prep enough for four meals and then um, I'll check them off once I've made those and then I'll know what meals I have the ingredients for that I've done the shopping for that are available and decide the day of. And then I put what the meal was like at the top of the daily like the night before. And then this spread I never did anything with. <laughs> These are um, the shape of the drawers in my desk and I was gonna fill these with sort of a, a layout. I was gonna make little boxes, uh, like origami boxes kind of to um, organize the drawer. And I'd still like to do that, but I think it's gonna be like a weekend, sometime, some mythical time when I have a free weekend, I'll get around to that. Um, but I did not have time to make that map uh, before. I, I'm not gonna end up using this spread because I'm done with this insert. Let's see, uh, then it was the week I was working on my podcast for myhogwarts.com. Um, so I was doing an interview and I put some interview questions. Then this is sort of a list of, instead of things to do generally, it was specifically things around the house that I wanted to work on. These are some measurements for the uh, bay window in the front because I want, still want to try to make cushions for that. And then here's another weekly. This is kind of what the weeklies look like for the rest of the month, or the rest of this insert. We have a uh, video production. This is the podcast production. And then these are extra videos that if I had time to do, which it looks like I did. And then general to-do list and dailies, all pretty much similar. Oh yeah, so I was doing these brown headers for this whole week, and then on the weekend, um, I I think I wrote Friday here or something, I had to white it out and write over it, and so I knew if I used the brown highlighter, it would look funny um, over the, the white out, so I decided not to use the white out, and I used the silver Uniball Signal to just make some little decorative dots, and I did that for the weekend, and it doesn't match, and I don't care. And then here we go, I'm using a tracker here started tracking just some general things. Uh, we started at Bible study again, so I needed to work on our homework. I'm trying to make some habits of doing my stretches for my neck that my chiropractor suggests, um, and putting on lotion every night, because the weather's really dry. And then this is what the meal plan looks like down here. It's Monday through Friday, um, because I guess I knew that I w didn't need uh, to have anything planned for the weekend or that I would have leftovers general to-dos needed to run over into a second column. And then, yeah, dailies. This is sort of a timeline for the evening, but this evening kind of got derailed by um, my mother-in-law was the victim of a crime and that kind of messed up that whole afternoon. <laughs> Forget that. Uh, then we needed to pack and stuff because we were going to a retreat on the weekend. Uh, so instead of having like a to-do list, because I knew that I wouldn't have anything like to do, I just kind of wrote out the uh, timeline. I didn't end up really using this because we had this timeline also in the folder that we were given as part of like leading the retreat, but kind of going through it beforehand um, and writing it all out kind of jogged my memory and got me really prepared. So I like, I kind of knew what was coming up. I had a better idea of what the schedule was gonna be. So that worked for me. Is a nice monochrome uh, using my gray. All of these um, markers that I'm using here, like for my headers and stuff, are the zebra model liners, and I love the gray one. 
Uh, that's the meal plan there, and then my tracker and my to-do list. Dailies all look the same, as you see. And then the very last weekend, I had just events up here for Saturday, Sunday, and a general to-do list for the whole weekend. And then that is the whole insert. And now I've moved on. Um, my weekly for the next insert pretty much looks like this. Um, same idea, same dailies. I'm sort of getting into a routine where the dailies and weeklies all look the same, which I think is a good thing. It's just like a sweet spot and that I'm not in that sort of tumultuous um, interim phase that I was at the beginning where I just needed a new page to do uh, something on and it was desperate. Now I, I feel like things are a little bit more calm. I'm still pretty busy, but like everything has a place. So that's always nice. But yeah, this is what it kind of looks like if you need to reboot your bullet journal system. Don't be afraid to just start with a pen. Like if you feel like, oh no, I don't have time to work on my bullet journal. I think what that really means is that you don't have time to decorate stuff, but you definitely need your bullet journal more than ever. So yeah, I recommend forgetting all your washi tape and your stickers for a while and just grabbing a pen and starting with a to-do list. Um, and yeah, just having the ability to like turn the page and go, okay, I need a shopping list now. Now I need a meal plan. Now I need, you know, this layout on this grid paper it was great for laying out like the office and stuff. Um, it worked really well for me and this thing was my brain. Uh, it was really my home base for the month of January, which was really hectic. And I'm really glad I had it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was interesting or useful for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe if it was because I post videos three times a week and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day guys. Bye